Hi everyone, uh, I just arrived for the service call. Today uh, we are replacing the high pressure switch for a Lennox AC unit. It's not the one that is braced in, it has the thread, so it should be pretty easy to unscrew the old one and put the new one back uh, without opening the, the system and recovering the refrigerant. So let's get to it. <laughs> So here I'm by the unit, it's a Lennox uh, 13 ACX. We'll start this assembly. Power is off. So the plan is to take the entire piece off, but I'm not sure, we'll have to see. I'll be able to. Gonna take the top cover off first. I'm gonna unplug the hand wires. And take it out. Yeah, I'll remove the whole piece just so it's easier to work on. Whoa! The coil's gotta be cleaned. Oil is messy. Then we have two screws here, third one, and three screws on this side. Be very careful because that's connected to the condenser coil. All right. Now this piece should come off very easy. We just had the wires to the compressor. Um, just gonna work like this. So this sensor, uh, it's a high pressure sen uh, sensor that was open when the unit was off. So that's why we're replacing it. There's, it's an open line. There's no continuity through it. Um, sensor I'm talking about so we should be able to just unscrew it and put a new one back we'll see how that goes so this is the connection it has the that it depresses the shredder core and here's the, the new one no brazing, easy peasy okay we'll have to tighten it Alright, this is how you replace the 
pressure switch on a Lennox AC unit. Not every model, but one of those. So now we just uh, have to check if there's any leakage. So we'll put the salt on it. To see if we are tight. So this sensor came with no manual, with no torque specs uh, whatsoever, so I just tightened it real well and we'll check in with the soap for, for any leaks. Okay, so now we are assembling everything back. Coil, by the way, is filthy. Um, today is October 9th it's 55 degrees so it's probably the summer is over and nobody's gonna use the AC till next summer next spring I will recommend cleaning the coil before he even starts the unit next year this this is this is crazy guys no maintenance All right, so the therm this is our thermostat wire. So the red is connected to black. Black goes one leg to the contactor. The yellow with a uh, red stripe goes inside. Goes inside here, passes to the pressure switch that's going in, that's going out. This wire is going now to our contactor. So if the switch is closed, which is normally uh, closed, we have 24 volt passing and we start in the unit, no problem. The old unit, the old pressure switch was open. That's why we're changing it out. All right, I'm gonna do a clean out here. I'm gonna nicely um, attach the wires. All right, so I put a few zip ties here and there just to make it look cleaner same um, the compressor area here these wires that's coming from the uh, pressure switch and yeah so we should be fine I'm gonna put the uh, top cover back and we will be all set guys all right so we're finished replacing the high pressure switch and uh, let me know in the comments if you do anything different than I did and like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.